Hello, welcome to Blender Leg and Foot Rigging 3. In this video we will create the control object for the foot and set up the animation that will control the foot roll. The first thing we are going to do is create a torus. This is going to be the shape for the foot control. We're going to stretch it out a bit to make it look like a foot. Add mesh torus. We're going to make it kind of small, 0.25 for the main radius. It's going to be really thin, so let's make it 0.05. Segments, we don't need a whole lot. Let's just say 18. And for the segments, we can make this 6, or we can even go 3. Um, that really doesn't matter too terribly much. Okay, here's our torus. Okay. Uh, let's put the cursor at the side. I'm going to go object, transform, center cursor. Okay, that's going to move the center over to the side. Okay, go to edit mode. Okay, and hit B for box selection. We're going to kind of select the end, hit G for grab, and we're going to click the center mouse button down the wheel and it'll limit it to one axis of movement so that way we can keep it straight. Uh, now let's rename it uh, shape underscore foot control and it's just a shape so um, it's not going to be a control object. Uh, let's add an armature and let's move that a little bit just kind of right over here I guess for now. Okay, and let's go into edit mode. We're going to select the bottom um, joint of the armature. We're going to move the cursor to it. So cursor to selection. Okay, now we're going to select the top joint and we're going to temporarily snap that joint to the cursor. Okay, and G to grab. And if we click the center mouse button, we line those two up and we can move them. So there you have a nice straight thing. And let's go to pose mode. Okay. And we'll go over here, to here, and right here under armature bones and the editing tab. And this is where we enter that shape name and this is what the bone is going to look like. So let's type shape foot control and hit enter. And as you can see, it turned that bone into that torus. Okay, now we're going to uh, snap the cursor to the IK goal here. And we're going to move the pivot up to that. So let's get into object mode, object transform and center cursor okay, and that snaps the pivot to that and when we rotate this okay, we can rotate it um, at the ankle which will give us some little extra animation control okay, and this we're done with it so we can hide it so show hide objects and hide selected Okay, so next we need to name this object so we can access it in uh, constraints later on. And this is going to be an animation control, so we're actually going to name it with a capital control. So control, underscore, and foot. Now we're going to actually need to name the individual bones in here. There's only one bone, but uh, we need to name it because we'll use that for constraints a little bit later in the next video. So we're going to name this uh, the bone uh, main because it's just going to be the main bone of the foot. Okay.
Okay, so that does it for uh, the foot control for now. Now we're going to set it up for animation. So let's split this uh, main view real quick. And the right side we're going to turn into an action editor. And actions are what Blender calls animations. So we're going to have all of our keyframes there. And we're going to split this view horizontally here and add a timeline. So now we have a timeline editor and the action editor. So now we're going to select uh, this uh, foot control we created in the last uh, video. Okay, let's go into pose mode a bit. Okay, first thing we need to do is create a uh, kind of a rest pose. And that's going to be right in the middle of our animation. So we're going to put that at frame 10. So we're just going to hit a, add a rotation key to all the bones here. Uh, we'll just add one to the heel joint real quick. So insert key, um, our rotation key. We're not moving anything right now. So all we need to do is add a rotation key. So add that to all of them, and we can see we got a key on all all four bones. Um, actually, we probably don't need uh, the toes, but whatever. Okay, we'll go back to frame one, and we're going to rotate the heel back, and we'll make it a little extreme just so there's a little extra control, and and some other poses. It's actually going to uh, not look quite as extreme. Uh, if the leg was further back, for instance. Um, let's go to frame 20. And we're actually going to deal with the uh, ball and ankle bones. And when the foot is rolling forward, it starts with the back, the ankle, and then it goes to the tip of the toes. So at frame 20, all we're doing is rotating this first joint. So add a rotation key. Okay. And we can hit I as well and add a rotation key. We can insert a key with either I or going to the button and the timeline. Okay. And the last frame is frame 30. Now the reason I'm, I'm actually separating these by 10 is because um, that will allow you to have a little extra control with the curves later on, which isn't really in the scope of this video, but um, it's important to note. Okay, we're going to now rotate this up on the heel, or on the toes. Okay, and let's add a key rotation key and let's rotate this back because it doesn't stay it doesn't keep going forward it ends up kind of going back as the other one goes forward so let's get that in position and add another rotation key and that is the entire animation so back on the heel and up on the toes okay and now, let me move this so I can actually see some more of the timeline, and we're going to rename it. And we're going to name it Foot Roll. And once we have that set, um, as long as we're on the rest pose, we can just delete it. And all the bones will be in their correct places. Okay, and let's put the windows back to where they were, and that'll be it. In the next video, we'll deal with the constraints.